In my last video, I used my kayak to get some really good up close and personal shots of all kinds of birds. I think the number one question after that video was, hey, can you show us your kayak rig? So guess what? I'm gonna show you my kayak rig and it's actually really simple, um, but I'd like to put a few things out there first. I've been paddling canoes and kayaks for, oh wow, over 40 years. So I'm very, very comfortable in a canoe. I'm very comfortable in a kayak. I know when to take it out. I know when not to take it out. Um, so I don't actually suggest you do what this unless you're extremely comfortable with a kayak or a canoe like I am. Um, so with that warning out of the way, let's go check it out. Here it is, bright red kayak. <laughs> so obviously not very camouflaged, but I don't think that matters, but it's a Native Watercraft Ultimate 12. They still make this, and it's actually not really a kayak. It's more of a hybrid kayak slash canoe. It's pretty light. I don't know the exact weight. I'm gonna guess around 40 or 50 pounds. It scoots across the water really, really easy. It's easy to paddle. It's very easy to navigate. It's very, very sturdy. It is a flat water kayak. I would not suggest using this in any type of rough, turbulent water. You can do it but this is more designed for flat, definitely not the ocean or anywhere where there's waves. Um, I picked this up used, like uh, in the United States, there's used websites where you can buy stuff locally. I grabbed this used local for a really low price. Um, you can get them used quite often because people buy this type of stuff and get tired of it and realize it's not for them. Um, so you can get some good deals that way, or you can buy it brand new. Um, let me show you the inside of it. So this is the seat that actually comes with this kayak. It's really light, it's really comfortable, and it's like fully adjustable, pretty simple. Um, and putting it in and getting it in place is actually really easy too. I'll show you how to do that now. Just lays in flat like this, and then you turn it sideways once you get it in, and it goes under these clips in the back. There's one there, and there's one there, and it pops in place, and then it folds back. And then you have these here to secure it in place. Um, which honestly I don't think I've ever used but that'll keep it from going back too far and slipping back out of place um, I've never had that issue though so I've never actually used those but that's what that's for just in case and you can adjust that too so you get the perfect distance between uh, your feet and the seat it's really comfortable too I've paddled this thing for hours and never had any issues with my back or my backside I'm um, super comfortable kayak so let's go for a little paddle. All right, this is actually the trickiest part, getting in the kayak with your gear and taking off. And I don't actually use any kind of tripod when I go out and do this, which is very challenging um, for a couple of reasons. One, you know, it's, you don't have a tripod, so there's nothing to keep you steady. But I learned doing this that it's much easier to handhold these cameras standing up than it is sitting down. When you're sitting down, you don't have any of your lower body to give you support. So it's all like in your abs and your core that you have to be able to hold everything steady so it's it's very trying it's <laughs> very different but i usually just slap this down inside here like this and then hop in as dainty as possible put my feet on the pedal and then scoop like that All right, so this is what it looks like from my point of view. Yeah, check out my legs, aren't they great? And welcome to Florida during the rainy season. This water is really high. It's also alligator mating season. So I gotta be really careful out here because they can get kind of aggressive and this is really small space. Don't wanna come up on any big alligators here. But you got these handy little pedals or foot places to put your feet, which is really handy and they're fully adjustable depending on how you want it. So you can pull this up to give you some space or push it down to give you some space. And then I'll show you how I handle the camera. So the gear just sits right here at the ready whenever I see something cool. Um, this isn't gonna be like my regular adventure video. I'm just kind of showing everybody the kayak. Not really the time of year for it here, but that's how everything sits. It stays pretty nice and dry. Um, never had any issues and it's a really great way to get really close to a lot of wildlife. They don't seem to mind when you're just sitting in your kayak. It's pretty cool. So that's it, it's pretty simple. 
told you it's not all that fancy. Really easy, really affordable. And I have no affiliation with this company that makes this uh, kayak. I just like it. It does what I need it to do. It's affordable, it's fast, it's easy. That's it. Until next time, I'll see you later.